Back by popular demand, we're once again going to talk about some of the most brutal things humans have done to each other in the name of punishment. It's quite hard to believe that in the past we sawed our prisoners in half, crushed their heads, removed their internal organs, burned them at the stake, and sometimes just strapped them to a wheel and pulverized them until they were broken beyond repair. These specters of violence, as some writers have called them, were not only there to deter crime and punish crime, but served as a reminder that the public should stay in its place. In the end, such cruel and inhumane acts just turned the people against the establishment, and gradually things changed. 12. The Scavenger's Daughter This was also sometimes called the Skelvington's Daughter. Named after a British man called Sir William Skeffington, it was basically an A-frame device made out of iron. It had hinges so the frame could be moved around. The victim's head was fastened to the top part of the A, with his arms and legs being fastened to the bottom parts. The torturer could then bend the person into an excruciatingly painful position, breaking the body. Some say it was like the rack in reverse. As the rack pulled the person apart, this device crushed the person. It was created during the reign of Henry VIII, but there are also documented cases of it being used during the reign of Elizabeth I. 11. Flaying with a Difference We've talked about flaying before, which is having your skin peeled off. This horrific form of torture was seen all over the world, from Europe to China to Africa to the Aztec Empire. But according to the website Medieval Times and Castles, this practice was performed in various ways. We're told that sometimes people would be left out in the sun for a very long time, until the meat on their bones was burned burned and tenderized. This way the flaying could be done with ease. In other cultures, people would be lightly boiled first, then taken out of the pot and peeled. One source tells us that the torturers would often try to remove the skin in large sheets. This was so it could later be displayed as a warning to others. You can still see a preserved skin at Worcester Cathedral in the UK. This was the skin of a Viking who had tried to steal the church bell. It's hard to believe humans could do such a thing, but as you'll see, we've done worse. 10. Stoning to death This is what you might call an execution by torture, and it differs from most other forms of brutal execution as the public can get in on the horror. Stoning goes back ages and takes its roots in Judeo-Christianity, but unfortunately for some individuals the practice can be found in parts of the world today. This brutal practice usually meant burying a person up to their head in the ground, and then stones would be thrown at the victim until they died. It is still legal in some countries today, mostly in parts of the Muslim world. In Iran, for instance, Sharia law states what size the stones must be so the execution doesn't go on for too long. NBC tells us that stoning as a punishment is still a thing in the countries of Iran, Afghanistan, parts of Nigeria, Sudan, Pakistan, and the United Arab Emirates. What also occasionally happens around some parts of the world is people are stoned to death as part of tribal justice. We can hardly imagine what it must be like to leave this life surrounded by an angry mob throwing stones at your head, and to some extent we can say humanity hasn't fully extricated itself from its brutal past. Perhaps even worse is stoning often comes after what most of us rational and compassionate people might see as paltry crimes, or not even criminal at all. Take the stoning to death of a man in the USA in 2011. Yeah, that happened. A 28-year-old stoned a 70-year-old to death because he said the Old Testament demanded that was the punishment for homosexual men. Such gruesome punishments don't happen often these days, but in the past, as you'll see, such a thing wasn't thought of as being utterly horrific. 9. The Stretching Ladder This form of punishment in medieval Europe was quite similar to the rack. As you might know, Rack 1.0 usually consisted of tying a person to a rack with a bunch of ropes attached to pulleys. The person would then slowly be pulled apart, or at least have their joints busted, as someone stretched them by turning a wheel attached to this contraption. But it seems this wasn't painful enough for some sadistic creatures of Europe, and so a similar machine was invented in which the person would be laid on spikes and then pulled apart. You can actually see this spiked rack at the Medieval Crime Museum in Germany. 8. The Knee Splitter Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. The thinker and philosopher George Santayana once said, We must stay close to our misdemeanors, even recent ones, and so it's a good thing we have the Medieval Criminal Museum in San Gimignano, Italy. On its website it writes, Our commitment, which we share with all who are interested in combating violence, is to show how throughout centuries human beings have been tortured. If you visit that website you can find a lot of information and pictures on evil medieval contraptions. We chose the knee splitter 
glitter for you, as just the name is enough to make you grimace. Imagine two blocks of wood lying horizontal to each other, attached to vertical iron bars. The pieces of wood have huge spikes sticking out of them, so the entire thing looks like a rather dangerous mouth. A person's legs would be put into this mouth, with the knees positioned where the teeth are. The mouth is then slowly closed, and it's goodbye knees. What you must remember too is that those days such a grievous injury would almost always lead to a slow, painful death. People were not exactly rushed to the ER and then operated on under a haze of opiates and anesthetic. 7. The Branks Unlike the knee splitter, Branks is a name that doesn't exactly describe the punishment. It's gone by other names though, such as Skolt's Bridle and Witch's Bridle. It was basically an iron muzzle that would be fastened to a person's head, usually a woman. A piece of metal in the bridle would also force the tongue down so that the person couldn't speak. Ok, so it was uncomfortable. But it doesn't sound too bad. Maybe some parents out there wouldn't mind using a Branks on their kids. But the thing was, if you were wearing one of these things, it gave the public impunity to do what they wanted to you. This meant people would often be urinated on, covered in feces and sometimes just beaten to death. You could see these things from around 1500 to 1800 in Europe. You can probably guess that this punishment was usually a result of a commoner speaking out of turn. There's also some cases of being used as a punishment to women for gossiping. It was to some extent the medieval version of having your social media account suspended. 6. Impaled People might have been impaled after they were killed using other means, but that certainly always wasn't the case. The good news is this punishment was fast and furious, rather than a long, drawn-out experience. It was long enough, though. Usually a large stick would be sharpened into a spike, and it would be put into the ground with the sharp side pointed up. The pole was then greased. After this, a person would be lowered onto the spike, starting at the rectum. They would be pulled down as the stick traveled through their body while hitting organs. This usually killed people fast, but if the pole didn't hit any major organs, people would writhe and scream for hours. The Washington Post and many other sources tell us that people were impaled during the Armenian Genocide, which was as late as the early 20th century. 5. Keel Hauling this was one for the sailors, and it makes the plank seem quite reasonable. As the name suggests, people suffering this ignominy would be hauled under the ship's keel. The keel is like the spine or backbone of a ship, and the part that it's usually built first. As punishment, sailors would be tied to a rope while the ship was moving and lowered into the water. They would be dragged under the keel, which was always in those days covered with very sharp barnacles. On top of nearly drowning, the person's skin and flesh would be ripped apart. Some reports tell us that sailors might even lose a body part. The outcome was often death. The modern equivalent of this could be roasting in the comment section of YouTube when no one agrees with you. Be smart. Don't get keel hauled. 4. Bamboo Torture People in parts of Asia love their bamboo. How could they not? You can eat it, you can use it as a cup, it makes a great scaffold, and you can build lots of things out of it. Add to this that the stuff grows at an incredible speed, and in some species almost 35 inches a day. It's also very, very strong. And you know what's coming next, don't you? Yes, it said sometimes people would be forced to top a growing plant and fastened rectum first. The thing would grow quickly and grow through the body of a victim. It was a very slow form of execution. Some reports state that this might not have happened, but various media and other sources say the Siamese or the Thais executed their enemies this way in the 19th century. 3. Animal Stuff If you saw our show on the Roman Colosseum of the past, you'll know all about the Damnatio ad Bestias. This was execution by animal, and it took various forms. You might be sat on by a trained elephant, and the crowd would roar as your guts spilled. You might be thrown to the lions or pitted against a bear. Later over in China, you might be torn into part by two horses. While in the Middle East, one form of punishment was just being trampled to death by horses. The absolute craziest of animal-related punishments was a Roman one called Polena Culiae. It sounds a bit like one of those old Japanese game shows where people had to endure some nasty things to get a prize. It was worse though, as it ended with death. The process was simple. Put a person in a large leather sack. Fill that sack with animals such as a monkey, a snake, a dog, and maybe throw in a couple of chickens to spice things up. Tie the sack and throw it into the water. Maybe the modern equivalent of this has to be arguing about politics on Facebook and expecting a positive outcome. 2. 
crushing in general. Countries all over the world and well past the days on the Roman Empire would have a form of punishment called crushing. If being drowned with animals is a strange concept, this one's as simple as it gets. You get crushed by something, mainly stones. In Britain and France, people might be pressed to death for not pleading anything in court. If you stood mute, you got pressed. They basically just wanted you to admit your guilt, which in many countries would have been untrue. In Britain, one person described crushing like this. He has a great weight of iron and stone laid upon him. His diet, till he dies, is of three morsels of barley bread without drink the next day. If he lives beyond it, he has nothing daily. It might take a week to crush the life out of someone. Still, there were people that just wouldn't enter a guilty plea. 1. The Blood Eagle this has to go down as the most creative way to die, a kind of macabre illustrated poem. Many of you know what it already is because you watched the show Vikings, but we'll explain for those of you who have never heard of the glorious Blood Eagle. This ritualistic form of execution takes the biscuit, really, and we think we'd rather take our chances with a sack full of angry animals drowning in a lake. This is how it's explained in the Viking sagas. Earl Einar went to Halfdan and carved Blood Eagle on his back in this wise, that he thrust a sword into his trunk by the backbone and cut all the ribs away from the backbone down to the loins and drew the lungs out there. Basically, your ribs are pulled through your back in the shape of wings, along with whatever else and you become a bloody eagle. Which one of these is the worst? If you had to die one way, what would it be and why? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other show, Worst Punishments in the History of Mankind Part 1. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll see you next time.